Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. And what's today's topic? So, I'm going to show you some advertisement off of Harbor Freight's website for these bristle brushes, um, acid brushes, bristle brushes. And we're going to talk about these. And a lot of people criticize these. They say, well, their horsehair falls out easy, they're not good for anything, and on and on. Um, I kind of disagree. It just depends on the application of why you want to use these or what you're going to use them on. So let's talk about it a little bit. Let me show you the pictures first along with a couple of the reviews and stuff like that, the percentages, and I'll come right back. Okay, so first of all, these are really good disposable throwaway brushes. I can use them on a lot of different things, and so we'll talk about those in just a sec. I use these for, let's, let's forget about painting and stuff, they're not used really for that. I use these for glue joints. When I glue up two pieces of wood together, I can use this, and I can smooth out the, joint, the glue joint before I clamp them together, and they're good for that, and then I can just chuck them, you know, when I'm done. Now one of the big negatives that they talk about with these bristle brushes is the bristles fall out. And it creates a mess on the project. Get a pair of pliers, this is your quick fix. Just come up here to where the bristles and the metal go in and meet right here. And crimp these really hard, really hard. And that's all you have to do to fix that problem. And then just tap it against the bench or swipe it and you'll see that they pretty much stop falling out on you. What else do I use them on? They're good for applying epoxy. It's good for cleaning small parts and stuff like in a solvent. I just use this brush, get in there, scrub them up, clean them off. Works good for that. Oil, solvents, things like that. When I did the vice restoration a while back, I used one of these to help spread grease and oil um, around on all the moving parts. Comes in handy for that. I also use this a lot of times in what I'm doing, like in this little container here. I put some trans tint dye. So with these brushes, I just go ahead and I stir it up. Now, I can clean this off fast just with lacquer thinner again because I've mixed it in with brushing lacquer. And I can just swirl it around, clean it up, tap it off, lay it on the bench. When I put this back into that lacquer thinner, it softens back up. So I don't really have any cleaning issues because I don't want to spend time cleaning brushes. So these are real great, like I said, for the throwaway. So you can buy these in packets of 36 and I think the average cost of around 8 cents a piece. Or you can go to the hardware store, the big box store, and you can pay a lot more for them. So I pick these up. I think it's a good DIY handyman kind of a thing to have on hand and I have them in my toolbox and I use them frequently. They're cheap, easy to use, they're very disposable, like I said, so they come in very handy for a lot of little projects. They also come in handy for cleaning off the keyboard on computers or any kind of small brushing you might have to do with anything. Another thing I use these for in my drill press is after cutting metal, I get shavings and chips everywhere. You know, I get a dustpan, hold it over there, and I can clean out the intricate parts of things with this real easily. Okay, meant to be your quick tip of the day, kind of. This is a Harbor Freight deal, I think. Um, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you use them on. I think it's a good value. It's worth having around. I think they come in real handy, depending on what you're going to use them for. All right, folks. Well, thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you click subscribe, hit the notification bell, keep following me. But, uh, you know, give it some thought. Let me know what you think in your comments below. I know this is a very cheap little project, probably not worth spending a lot of time in review on. But I thought I would tell you what the quick fix is by crimping it, and I would tell you these are the things I use it for, and no, don't use them for painting. You folks have a great day. I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.